Uh, how are you, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Tall, Dark, and Handsome. Um, <laughs> my name is Timothy Kimani, also known as Njugush. But today I'm Babatugi. And guess who, Nikonai, for the first time ever, I'm so thrilled. My name is Avril popularly known as Avril, but my name is Anyambura Mwangi and I am a singer, songwriter, recording and performing artist and also an actress. I'm Kit Kiarie and this is my dad, Justice Nyangaya. I have a lot of TV. I have a lot I was a A small boy who seems not to know anything lakini anakuja jioni nasema tuombe tukalale na anasema ni mimi nitaobesha nikafurahi nikasema mtoto wangu sasa ameingia ameanza ku amejua mambo ya mu i didn't know what he was to pray he just said father we thank you because you've given food given us food and na na chako na hata chakunywa Sasa tukienda kulala lala nasi na upatie baba elfu tano anunue TV. Ah, siku sema amen. <laughs> Kanza sasa kufikiria, nitafanya nini? Ameomba, nikataya, nikikataa. Will he ever believe in prayers? <laughs> some of the memories, actually some of the fondest memories I have with my dad is working with him, doing stuff with him. We used to have a poultry farm. And my dad would, we were the labor. <laughs> Turning that manure was on us. There was no one else who was supposed to do that for us. It was us. So I think I learned hard work from him. Not think, I know I learned hard work from him. And just working with my hands and doing everything for myself. I'm so, so blessed to be able to have been brought up by a dad who identifies as a feminist and who has taught me what feminism is. He taught me that just because you're a girl doesn't mean that you don't get opportunities as any boy. And just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I'm less than. So even when the world was telling me, Kit, be quieter, be less, my dad was telling me, you're enough, you are good, I'm fighting for you. Kit dignifies people with, um, with how she speaks and how she says what she says, but also just acknowledging people and saying, well done, you have done a good thing. People feel good about that, that they are acknowledged. My dad and I did not really have conversations about money that much. Why, because it was my money. <laughs> I didn't feel free to share with him and tell him, yo dad, this is the amount of money that I make. Openness in terms of money, it was very, we had a very bare discussion of Tukohapa, and I remember there's something he told me. He didn't inherit any land from uh, the parents. Mm. He told me, Unaona mimi kwetu si kugawa. Kwa hivyo hata nyinyi mfanye bidii. Ai, sasa mzaa yake shakwambia hivyo. But he knew, he knew I was making money and he'd tell me, he would hint, he'd hint stuff and tell me, um, so what's what's your plan? What are you doing about this? What are you doing about that? And through my answers, he'll be able to, you know, slip in a note here, a note there about how I'm supposed to be able to, you know, take care of myself. So from an early age, um, dad used to give us pocket money. So it was a certain amount per month. Then if we wanted more on top of it, because I think he used to give us maybe 100, maybe 200 a month. Yeah. Um, if we wanted any more, we had to work for it. So daddy taught us, so here is your money, your pocket money. Now don't spend it all in one place. Save some, you know, um, give some, to, take some for sadaka. I'm not going to, we're not going to arrive in church and then I give you my money. I mean, God is seeing me. This is my money, it's not yours. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> right? God knows that where the money is coming. I give, I give it to, and give you, it to then you, you, no, there's no yeah. such thing. We don't do that. I could see what he was going through, having to go walking miles and miles Atihubiri. Then anakuja amechoka, then tomorrow the same thing. A lot of lessons are those that we don't really speak about. Is is what we see, not really what we hear. Because a lot of things in kutoka kwa is things I see. I don't want to be in charge of ABCD. I don't want to have my own. I don't want to have pride in that. But what I loved that I did with my money is that I took my brother to school through uni. I actually, you know, just laid it there and he, because 
he was taking care of it, but at that time, you know, work was a bit slower. Any time that he, I, I could see him struggling, I'd step in and just like, no, dad, I'll take care of this, don't worry. Do, 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 do. Later on, he'd point out, but they kuna shamba in blah, 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 blah. Come, I show you. But this, we go this way, but this, we go this way. So his, his way of teaching me how to, you know, use money and to take care of myself was through those, those things. If there's something that my dad did and I tip a hat is he took guys to school. But what he had, he made sure he, 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 all the children around him just went to school. So that's what I want to do for my son. I want to equip him. Does he want to learn something? Let him learn. We did realize uh, that uh, education is power. And uh, when you want to give people uh, power for life, you take them through an education. How we earned our money, our children knew. And they knew that um, it, was, uh, it was hard work getting money. But we never spared money if it meant for their education, we'll get it and we'll save it and we'll give it to them. We'll borrow, mm. we'll take loans. But that was a major priority expense that was never taken lightly at all. But if I know that he, 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 need, he will need a lot of money, I had to, to, to put a little somewhere. A little somewhere. When he come, I have money. When Tuki came, reality hit home. That's when the land came. So that's when now uh, covers for life, for health, st uh, started making sense as much as uko nyuma nilikuwa nimesikia na nimeona. So here I am, I don't have an assured sum coming in every month. So what I need to do is whatever I get, na, na, na deposit to be able to, to ensure that si angushi. Because the worst thing I'll do, ni kuangusha tugi. My dad didn't fail me. Um, I need to say this, that the Bible says that um, uh, you need to create wealth unto the fourth generation. Uh, and so uh, there are certain things that, uh, that uh, Pondi and I are doing uh, for Kendi and Keo, keeping money so that they can inherit that. Uh, we, we tell our children that uh, we don't want to be their burden uh, now and in future but we also want to put something aside for my children wow. and for my grandchildren and for their grandchildren. I'm learning, I'm just learning the whole process. This is my first child, my only child. So I cannot say that I've raised other children so I have all this bulk, you know, I have all this information that I need to see. I'm, I'm just learning on the job. I'm just putting a little bit, a little bit, a little bit away. What I've seen with uh, daddy, you just prepare a kid for life, life skills. If there's something I got, yes, he gave me education, beautiful education, but if there's something that keeps me going, is the life skills. I'm in an industry that has been disregarded for so long, but we have switched it up. We have invested in it. We have our own studios, we have our own spaces to create music, to create um, art, telling our stories, you know, just evolving. Right now we have more executive producers in terms of film, more executive producers in terms of, of, of music. It's definitely an industry that will flourish. I, I see it, I see it because I have taken a step back from, you know, being in the, in the center stage, but to actually invest in it and just see what, we, what the possibilities are because we understand the industry and we are hoping that it could be, it could be more and it can be more. You know, my dad being a reverend, eh? I expected him, I expected you to have issues with me acting. But he was, there was a time we were watching TV and and he told me, you told me something that he told me. Na sa hiyo kwanza nafanya diploma in journalism ya news writing. Aliniambia, when I see you in front of, nikikuona kwa TV, I'll be so happy. I was like, uchungaji? Na, yu, yesho, uchungaji? That gave me a push of I must make it. So maybe nearly fail in terms of news writing, in terms of uh, news presenting and whatnot, but where I am, I cannot complain. So if Tugi came and said, anataka kucheza isikuti, well and nice. Would my father 
<laughs> acknowledge my parenting or give me a thumbs up he would he would definitely give me a thumbs up with each and every single experience that i'm having with my son i feel like i, I, I that can voice rings in the back of my mind he needs to be disciplined but also be soft be gentle when you need to be soft and gentle have a have a have a tough you know be tough but at the same time also be sweet so all these things i saw them with my dad and i think he would be okay i hope <laughs> i think he would be now looking back we are wondering is is kept very strict <laughs> and uncaring and uh, and almost insensitive to the feelings of children <sighs> maybe it's a soft spot that we have for our grandchildren like do do people change when they become grandparents because you were strict that yes now i'm like what am i looking at now that then i now look at you and i say have you taken it a notch higher yeah no i have not if my dad was here with me today what would i tell him i'll tell him that i love him and i'll say thank you yeah. um i would like to say daddy you have been and continue to be such a good dad you have taught me you continue to teach me dignity respect empowerment i really really and even now when i compare with other people i value you and i value your input in my life given another time to choose a dad i'd choose you kama kuna ku choose hiyo ya tuambiwe sasa tu choose i'd choose you love you thank you daddy i love you thank you